Brenda Kuhneman, and you're joining me on The Daily Decree Live, and this is an online prophetic devotional where I share with you prophetic decrees from my two books, The Daily Decree and Daily Decree for Family Blessing and Breakthrough. And by the way, that second book is a book that is dedicated to specifically to families, but of course you can use it for your personal life. If you're maybe just single, uh, it still will be a blessing for you, but it also speaks to extended family and people that we're close to. So I do encourage you, if you don't have a copy, go out to hankandbrenda.org, get a copy today, and you can follow along along with me. If you have the books, um, we're going to be talking about a, a powerful, encouraging word today that I think applies probably at some level to just about everybody. Really, okay, let's just say it, everybody. And we're going to talk today about being pain-free. Now think about that. I had a person tell me one time years ago, this was a woman, she loved God, and she said, you know, one of the biggest challenges she had in her life in just serving God is that she lived physically every day in pain. And, you know, and I knew her pretty well. She didn't tell me what kind of pain that was. But, you know, physical pain is very real for a lot of people. We don't realize how many people go around with back pain, leg pain, knee pain, headache pain, whatever it is, arthritis pain, uh, pains from injuries and all sorts of things. And it can be one of the most debilitating things to deal with is physical pain and emotional pain, of course. Uh, can be just as challenging and uh, it can disrupt a normal schedule. It keeps people in bed when they don't want to be in bed. And I was thinking about the fact that even doctors and hospitals will give people something to alleviate pain because they don't want to see people suffering. And I thought, you know, if, if you know, the natural medical profession is caring to alleviate people's pain, how much more God wants us to be pain-free. And you know, there is a promise in scripture for that. And I wanna read to you Isaiah 53, and just let's hone in on this important word, but this is Isaiah 53, four. And by the way, I'm just reading this out of the Amplified. It says, but he has borne our griefs, right? And he has carried our sorrows and pains. Now just underline that. He's carried our sorrows and pains. That word sorrows includes pain in it. So just realize that Jesus suffered great pain so we don't have to tolerate pain that comes from the devil. You know, pain in our body or in our emotions, it is something that comes from the earth curse. It's something that comes under the curse. It's something that comes from the enemy, right, who would enact, say, well, how can the enemy, Pastor Brenda, can he bring pain into your physical body? Well, you think about it in the ministry of Jesus. How many times the Bible says in the four gospels that, sicknesses, diseases, physical conditions were connected to the demonic. Of course, the enemy can bring, it's called a spirit of infirmity. There was a woman that was bowed down in the Bible and Jesus said she had, a, it was a demonic spirit of infirmity that caused her affliction. And I'm sure she was in pain as a result of that. So, well, Pastor Brenda, are you saying that every sickness or every physical condition is demonic? Well, maybe there isn't the um, presence of an actual demon there. I, I, you know, every situation is a little bit different and not every time did Jesus address a demonic spirit, but we know that in general, sickness does not come from God. It is part of the curse. It's a part of what the enemy is uh, promoting and pushing and bringing into the lives of people. And so it's very important that we make a point in our life to stand up against pain. You know, it's easy to always just go to the medicine cabinet, you know, take a pain reliever or something, but it's also important to take our spiritual medicine and stand up against pain and say, no, Listen, I have a promise that Jesus carried pain so I wouldn't have to. And it means we're going to have to get busy sometimes to resist that and say, no, this has got to leave me in the name of Jesus. And so that's what we're going to prophesy to today. And Jesus, if he took my pain, if he took your pain, he took the pains of your children, then it's our job to get in agreement with that and say, you know, God, I'm confident that we are going to see this pain leave our bodies. And whether it be immediate or maybe it's a process where God brings a healing because healings can sometimes be immediate. And I think they should be immediate. We need to press 
context for that, but sometimes there's just that process where our body has to come back into a place of strength and help. But just know this, either way, Jesus took pain so you don't have to walk around with that for the rest of your life. And if we don't stand up and take that promise, well, the promise won't become ours. Prom their Bible is full of promises that many people never step into simply because they don't take them for themselves by faith. They don't take them in their spirit. They don't believe them. You know, they look at the Bible like, okay, that verse is for somebody else. No, it's written for you. And you can live pain-free because that's the promise that Jesus paid for. And you know what? It's not just a promise. It's something Jesus already did. He already went to the cross. He already went to the whipping post. He already took those stripes on his back. It's all ready happen. So our job is just to get in agreement with what he did and remind the enemy that we're not subject to his efforts and his plots and his plans to cause us to live every day in physical or emotional pain. So that's what we're going to prophesy to today. And I want you, this is again from my book on family breakthrough. This is for your family. This is for your children. This is something you should decree as a married couple or with your kids over your entire household. You know, there's nothing more frustrating to a parent to have to get up in the middle of the night and address a child who is in some kind of physical pain. We don't like that as parents, not because we just have to get up, but we don't want to see our kids hurting. And you know, I always think of it like this. If we don't like to see our kids hurting, neither does God like to see you hurting. So let's prophesy against pain, physical, emotional pain over your household in Jesus name. And again, we're decreeing this together. So just get an agreement as I speak this over you. We decree that as a family, we are pain free. We prophesy good health and wellness over our entire household. We say that our minds and our bodies experience comfort and relief, not discomfort and not injury. We break the power of pain, of aches, irritations, misery, inflammation, and all physical distress of every kind in the name of Jesus. And we declare that all tenderness, soreness, throbbing, stinging, spasms, and weakness, they are right now alleviated by the power of God. I just speak that over you right now. It's alleviated by the power of God. And whatever is out of alignment, disjointed, or malfunctioning, we command it to be corrected immediately in the name of Jesus. We stand upon the promise that Jesus himself took all our pains, and therefore we do not have to bear them. We command pain to go now and never return. We receive our whole family. We receive in our minds and our bodies that the word of God is true and it is health to all our flesh. God's word goes into our bodies as medicine and causes every pain to be supernaturally received. I want you to take that right now and just say, pain, you got to go. You got to go. Well, Pastor Brent, I'm not sure I feel it. Oh, no. You stand up to that and stand in that declaration. That's the promise of God to you. You are pain-free. Amen and amen. I know that went in your spirit prophetically. I know that went into you by faith. And you're going to see a shift in your life that you can live, my goodness, a whole new life without pain. Amen. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. And know this, Hank and I always pray for you. Write us. Go to hankandbrenna.org, send us a message, an email, let us know your prayer request. We keep our intercessors praying over those requests on a regular basis because you're important to God, you're important to this ministry, and we love you very much. We thank you for your support. Thank you for going out to the website, getting a hold of the material here at the ministry that I believe is going to be a blessing in your life. And keep your chin up. God is on the move in the earth and in the nation. Till next time, I'm Brenda Kuhnman. I love you. Bye-bye.